Hi guys, you are watching Interesting and Fickers. Today we'll have another crazy experiment. We want to make a candle house and for its construction we'll take a hundred kilos of paraffin. Can you imagine? There is about it 100 gram of paraffin in one candle and we'll use 100 colors of it. Well, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then make sure to subscribe it right now by clicking the button below and we get started. Just look how much paraffin we have got. It will be enough for more than 1000 candles. This is our base for the future house. We'll fill it all with the paraffin and we'll get a giant candle. But the most fascinating thing is that we'll have a house inside this candle. But we won't leave it for long because in the end we'll light our candle. It should turn out magical and beautiful. The main idea of our video is not to make a house of paraffin, but to make a lot of candle lights. There will be an effect of many candles, because we took the wick and cut it into many parts. Later we'll fix each part along the perimeter of the house, and in the end of our video we'll light it up, and there will be many lights all over the house. I think it's gonna be really cool. And the moment has come when we have to cover the base with a plastic film. Now all of this will fill with the paraffin, but before doing this we'll reinforce it with a blue mesh. This is so that our house doesn't crack, one will get out of their sand and this film. Generally, paraffin must be melted in the steam bath, but if you don't want to bring it to the boiling state and control everything, then you can directly put it on the gas stove. But don't do this at home, because we read that there was a case when the stove exploded, so don't repeat this at home. It melts very quickly, in just two minutes those big pieces of paraffin has already melted a lot. At the bottom it looks like water and it's almost boiling. So we decided to apply paraffin with the brush because we think this way it will be better. But why? Because we need to firm the mesh with the first layer. I'm still tired when I wake up Like my dream's still near Snooze spot of my best friend now Get me away from here I got plans, I got things to do Gotta do my hours, do my hours is everything so damn hot? Gray skies and rain clouds. I postpone everything. All right, our workflow is in a full swing, and we have to come up with a life hack to make sure that the paraffin doesn't roll down while it's hot. We'll let it cool down a bit so that it becomes more elastic and thick. This allows us to lay it up and fix it in the right place. We have been doing this for most of the day, but we have the optimism because we are gradually getting such a beautiful iceberg, from which we'll make a giant candle house. It looks like snow, I mean seriously, from here it looks as if it covered in ice. <laughs> See how many wicks we have already fixed here, it's almost everywhere. I can't believe that this is all one giant candle. The most important and terrible thing is what will happen when we get the sand out of there. Will it stand or will it collapse? I want to know your opinion, so pause the video right now and write whether our house will fall apart or not. This is so cool! Sergei said that he wants to make a giant candle out of me in the next video. There will be a lot of wicks placed on me and I will be walking like a candleman. But this can happen only on one condition, that is, if we get a lot of likes in this video. So if you want to see a human candle, hit the thumbs up right now.
We decided to make an unusual entrance because we are the most unusual people in the world. The entrance will be below the house, so we'll have more space in our house and we'll not risk our candle because it can break down. What are you doing? I'm coloring our wick so that in the evening they can be seen against the background of the house, because in the evening against the light of background it will take a lot of time to look for them. We searched the internet for a long time to know which stain to use for coloring the paraffin wax, but there is no perfect one because everything stains poorly on it. Therefore, Sergei decided to use oil paint, which uh, in his option stains perfin well. Well, we'll check it now. You will never guess what it is, on the other hand, maybe you already guessed it. Well, this is a chandelier made entirely of wax. Can you imagine completely wax? It's cool. Looks like a beautiful candle made of eyes. Our candle house is ready, we have already arranged everything inside, so let's go see what we got there. <laughs> Whoa, you made a lounge out of there! At first glance it seems so close, but in fact there is a lot of space! Yeah, really! Everything is arranged so cool, we decided to make a scout of the chandelier, it will light up in red, because a red LED strip is inserted in it, there is also a YouTube flip button. The most interesting thing is that the construction shame of this house is the same as the thickest land, but due to the fact that this is made of paraffin wax, there is a lot of light here. At the same time, the wall thickness is at least 2 cm. And it's really strange feeling that you are inside the candle, everything around is paraffin, we are inside a huge candle that will burn in the evening. So it's already dark outside, now let's go inside and see how it's now, how much the atmosphere has changed, after which there will be a grand final, will set the house on fire. Ready? Let's turn on the light. Wow, it looks like we're in some mine. All these textures look so cool and so cozy here. We are inside the candle. It turns out that we again build a house particularly underground. The place where I'm sitting is below a ground level. We are really some kind of underground people. Well, let's light it up! Tell me if I got it wrong, but you don't wanna be alone. This is so beautiful! Wow, it looks so amazing inside, simply awesome! I don't know how it will be like when everyone lights up! Spend my coffee on the floor, but I don't really care! It looks so cool, hasn't it? If you are liking what you are seeing now, be sure to hit the thumbs up!
We put a cap on our Christmas tree and now there will be an action. Guys, it was a really magical. Everything turned out as we wanted. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Yes, hit the like button if you liked everything. We think it was really cool. Write us what to film in the next video. What other experiments you want to see on our channel. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And click the bell icon so that you don't miss a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next Sunday. Bye. Bye. Blah, blah.